This is a video demonstration showing you how to set up your DVR and cameras to be motion detection activated. The first step in this process is to right click anywhere on the screen using your mouse. We're going to scroll down to record and left click. The password for the username 888888 is also 888888. We're going to select OK. And we're going to select channels 1 and 2 for schedule. This is going to allow us to very specifically set our motion detection and schedule settings for these channels. Right now, I only have cameras 1 and cameras 2 selected, so I will only be changing these settings. We'll select OK and return to the main screen. The second step in this process is to again right click on the main screen and scroll down to main menu. We want to select the setting icon in the top right hand corner. We're going to left click. We're going to select the detect icon and left click again. So let's go ahead and create a custom motion detection feature for channel one. The way that we're going to do this is select under event type. We're going to select motion detection. Under channel, which is equivalent to saying camera, we're going to select one. You can select all if you want the features for or the settings for this motion detection to be the same on all channels. We're going to select one because we want to make it custom for just this camera. We're going to enable this camera for motion detection, and then we're going to select the region. This region, also known as motion masking, is going to allow you to select certain areas to be triggered or not triggered by motion in front of the camera. So let's say that these people walking over here, we won't, don't want to detect that when these people are walking by, we don't want that to set off the camera to start recording. So the way that we're going to do that is to click on the mouse and drag the area. The area selected in red, or the red boxes, means that the camera is going to be activated by motion in those areas. So this would mean that in these areas, the camera will not be triggered by motion. To exit out of this screen, we're going to right click on the mouse. This brings us back to our detect menu. You'll see here next to the region there is a sensitivity feature. This will allow you to, just in general terms, determine how far away or how much motion it takes for a camera to be triggered by motion. We recommend that for uh, general surveillance, you select the sensitivity to be on level 2. After you have the region that you want to be activated by motion selected and you have the sensitivity selected for that camera, we need to select what time we want the camera to be activated by motion. We can do this using the period feature and there's a set button where we can adjust this. In this menu we are able to select very specific times for the cameras to be able to be activated by motion. So let's say for example, we have a business that operates from 9 until 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. We don't want these cameras to be activated by motion because we're going to be there. So to do this, we're going to select the drop down menu, we're going to select workday, and on the first time period, we're going to select in hours, 9 o'clock, and then 17, which is 5 o'clock in the afternoon. You can see here we have a visual display of when these cameras are able to be activated by motion. The white is able to be activated by motion and blank space is not. Select OK to exit this menu. Another feature that I would like to go over is being able to activate other channels to record even if they're not set up on that channel. The way that we can do this is select the channel that we want to be the trigger for the other channels to start recording, such as channel 1, which we have set up right now, and it, it is enabled. If we want to start recording on other channels, even though there's only motion in front of channel 1, all we have to do is make sure this record channel box is checked, and then select the other channels or cameras that we want to start recording if there's motion in camera 1. On the bottom of the screen, there is a copy and paste button. This is simply for copying and pasting settings from one channel to another. 
For example, right now I have channel 1 set up to enable motion detection recording. I have a very specific region selected and I have the camera set up to start recording on channels 1, 2, 3, and 4 if there's motion in front of camera 1. I want to click the copy button, select channel 2, and paste all of those settings. If you ever have a camera set up on a channel that is not working correctly, you can always select the default button, which will reset the channel to its default factory settings. After we have all of our settings correctly configured on one or all channels, we need to save before we exit out of this menu. It's very important to click the save button and not cancel or right click. This will not save your settings. So again, click save before you exit this menu. Okay, so we have our motion detection settings completely configured from top to bottom and when we return to the main screen, even if there is a motion detection icon, there is no recording icon. The reason for this is we gave the DVR all the settings and configured it, but we didn't actually tell it to activate and start using those commands that we've given it. So to activate the DVR to use the settings that we've given it through our motion detection feature, we need to first right click on the main screen, scroll down to main menu, select the setting icon in the top right hand corner, select the schedule icon, select the channel that we would wish to activate motion detection recording on. In this case we're going to activate it on channel 1 and 2. We're going to select weekday to all and under period 1 we're going to activate it from 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. with the motion detection settings that we gave it and select the MD icon which stands for motion detection. We're going to select OK and repeat the process for camera 2. Select schedule again, select camera 2 under period 1, 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. and weekdays all, select motion detection and select OK. When you return to the main menu, your cameras will now be activated to record when there is motion.